Hello YouTube! Surreal Canine here with more Llama Llama 2. In the last episode, uh, we had a very hard time uh, beating a beating a couple of bosses here in the Roots of Yggdrasil. Nidhogg uh, presented the most problems. Uh, Ratatosker, uh, I think we got lucky with him. Anyway, then we uh, triggered the... Th we triggered the three goddess statues, uh, which opened up a path below their uh, pool. And uh, we were able to save What's-His-Face that was uh, that was trapped down there. He revealed the Ankh for us, and today we're going to fight the guardian of this area. But first, I want to go back to the Village of Departure and prepare. What do you have to say, Zalpud? <laughs> I don't know. That might be a thing. It also might not. Shuriken ammo! Can't afford very much of it, but uh, yeah. Sidro! Sidro is the eldest of the village merchants. Slow to catch on to his village becoming a tourist destination, he peddles seemingly out of place goods that are perfect for ruins exploration. Whoops. Madro. Madro is a young village merchant. He can be found in the village turned tourist destination, selling weapons with exuberance. He insists they are no more than souvenirs. <laughs> Bit of a callback to the first game. Nebur. We don't really have any need of more weights right now. <laughs> that sure is a thing. Some of these guys don't have the uh, logs in the encyclopedia for some reason. A little odd, but not much to worry about, really. Actually, though, I do want to uh, go back to Phobos and see if he has a... Uh, has a thing. An encyclopedia entry. It's a data bomb up there, it's taunting me. Alright, I guess he doesn't. Alright, let's go fight us a boss. Got our Ankh Jewel here. Let's go. Ah! We're off to an excellent start. <laughs> uh, video games, they sure are a thing, you know? You know what I mean. Ow. Mr. Skeleton. Please do not mock me so. Nice uh, remix of Requiem here. Alright, let's summon the Guardian! Who do we have? Ooh, fancy. Fafnir! I'm 
much of a dwarf now, are you? This is not going very well. Um, I should probably be attacking more from range. This is not like Amphispana. Ow. Of course, I'm probably going to have to move in close at some point anyway. not going very well, but I mean, it's only my first attempt, so what you gonna do? Apparently he can only be hit at all while his mouth is open. Ow. Not the most dignified way to die to a boss, <laughs> getting tripped by him. All right, well, uh, I know what I doing. Move Zig for great justice. Okay, if you uh, if you whip in twice, apparently that ends his uh, attack phase. Interesting. is not going very well, but uh, I got in a bunch of whip hits. Let's see if our shurikens can do the rest. Probably gonna get uh, bouldered to death, but... Gah, wasted a shuriken. Okay, it apparently takes uh, three shurikens to knock him out of the phase of an attack. Oops! I could kind of stand to get ten more shurikens. Uh, let's come back in a little while. Ootsie! Of course, it might help. Might help if I actually had the full uh, 64 health. Oh well. Hey, coin get. Don't really want to waste the weight. Ooh, skeleton. Ooh, hello. Black Carbuncle. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I can't help it. Carbuncle is just so adorable. Alright. Not very many more coins, but uh, it's enough to uh, get us a little bit of extra ammo. button isn't really uh, very responsive. <laughs> oh, that ended wonderfully. Oh well, it's like it's 12 HP. It's fine. Definitely uh, easier to melee him when he's on the ground. Guess I'll stick to Shuriken when he's on the ceiling. Yeah, I like how this looks. Ow. Okay, well that was just rude, Mr. Fafnir. Let me tell you something. Might have been a slight waste of shurikens. Now. Get out of here. shooting needles at me. That's great. Ooh, he's getting faster, too. Oops. Oh, come on. Don't make it impossible to hit you. Ooh, got him! Oh, that's slow down. Congratulations! You've obliterated Fafnir, but the adventure continues. What do we get? Dragon of Embraces. Achievement unlocked. Crystal Skull acquired. What? Is that a Crystal Skull you just got? I heard the ones left in La Milan had been stolen. This may be different from the ones in La Milan. I'd like to look into it, so bring it to me when you have the time. This appears to be a new usable item, and... You know what that means. That means Zelput has something to say! That's a crystal skull. Your dad found one when he was investigating the La Milana ruins. Just how many of these are there, anyway? Orly. Mm 
Whoops! Keep getting spiked in stupid ways. It's pretty great. Hey, you've made it back. That's all fine and well, but please show me the crystal skull. Go on, quickly. Hmm, it's shaped slightly different from the ones in Lama Lama. Let me hold on to it for a while. I want to look into this. Wait, I still have it. Oh, okay. Sure, let's uh, let's talk to the elder yet again. How about make... Uh, you've already said that to me. Just that the main character would die on pretty much every... Yeah, pretty much Zelda. I have much more to say than that, I guess. Alright, let's see if Phobos has anything to say now. I will have my answers. the skull you lent me it's pretty interesting it seems as though there's there are 12 of these in total among the materials i was researching was something called the 12 seal inscriptions apparently the various seals can be broken in accordance with the number of skulls in your possession anyway i've digital digitalized those research materials i don't know what's written in them though i mean they were sealed so Interesting. We got a new piece of software, it sounds like. An app developed by Phobos. It can extract the data from crystal skulls into a text format. Launch the app from a menu screen. Words of Nibiru. Ye of weak and dumb body, who holds this skull in hand. Hear our mind, fulfill our will. Oh, though we are noble, why do we crumble so? Unless we unable to come down to this land of the puny, we shall impress upon this world at least our will. Huh. That's a pretty cryptic message there. But, evidently, we are able to break a seal now or something. Let's uh, see what we can find. When we beat a Nidhogg in the last episode, uh, a new path opened up to us. I kind of want to check it out now. Whoops. Dang it. Melissa. Be sure to know how to belly slide down the belly slide. We're just kind of going to have to keep our eyes out for some of those seals. So, the Ice Fire Treetop. Yeah, we already saw that message. Oop. Uh, I want the scanner. This path is a freezing one. A frozen treetop presided over by the Guardian Modgood must pass the frozen pillar to proceed. And like that? Whoa, it's very slippery. Who? Hello? I 
Color that there lava sure is nasty. It looks suspicious as all hell. You know, all my years of experience told me this will be impossible even with the ice cape. We'll call this poison lava. Okay, we've got poison water and now we got poison lava. It's pretty great. What the heck is that thing? Langsuir. Vampires transform to women who die during childbirth. First, they may seem beautiful, but there are large, biting mouths hidden in the back of their heads. When they feed on blood, they pull back their hair to reveal them. Smile! <laughs> Rude! Oh well. Whew! Instant death lava! Good times. Um, okay, that's great. I gotta do the thing again. Yeah. Stupidity is taken care of. We uh, we go back to our usual uh, stupidity. Why do we keep doing this? Well, whatever. It's as good a time as any to heal, I guess. So uh, yeah, poison lava, instant death, good times. This game is uh, not playing around even less than the, the first game. Alright, Ice Fire Tree Tone. What's this? <laughs> Rude Mr. Statue, that's for sure. Well, let's go this way then. Actually, wait, can we go this way? I don't think we can. This path is a land of unruly flames, a searing treetop presided over by the giant Cert. Those not born of here have no hope of survival. I think I want to get the ice cape before I, uh... Before I even try with the, uh, lava path here. just exploring you know what's this there's a tool that allows you to latch onto walls simply by stretching your hand and taking grasp with it you could swing around a pillar polished to a mirror sheen cool assuming that's what this is but uh gotta get to it Oh, 
that was actually pretty simple. <laughs> Ow. The Grapple Claw! So yeah, uh, if you hold up and toward the wall, or actually, if you just hold up, you, uh, you can grab onto it. Then you press jump to kick away. Mushuwu. That's a funny name. The soul of a girl who died young, becoming an evil spirit. She wields a scythe in the shape of a bird's head, swinging it down to behead anyone who gets too close. Her powers of flight do not appear to be particularly strong. Interesting. Oh. Wait, what? Back here? Really? Oops! Well, dang it. Now I gotta go get it again. I think, maybe, I should be uh, coming back here as soon as I grab that. <laughs> Just a hunch. Still, this is a very early time uh, compared to the first game to be getting the Grapple Claw. that Mr. Bat. It's very rude. Mushu and Langsweer. Uh, data get... You are the rudest skeleton. Go away. Nice try, game. I am up to your wily tracks. <laughs> that was very close. Whoop! Bonk! Get that grapple claw in. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, let's get out of here. Back to the roots. go uh, this way. Yeah. I keep just not seeing the bats at all. It's pretty great. So, this is what I wanted to check out. Of course, I can't do anything here. Alright, so that was nothing. Hmm. One other place comes to mind. Uh, then I will end things off for tonight. Whoops.
down here. Ooh! Spiked! Alright, now then. Okay, I was wrong. <laughs> I don't know what the game expects me to do here. Ow. I'm sure we'll figure it out though, eventually. Ye who have defeated Fafnir, listen well. The gate has opened. Idrasil has begun preparations for the end. The gate sealed by the power of souls shall be unlocked by the souls of guardians. The gate with the correct number of souls shall open. Okay. Oh, like that gate. All right. Well, uh, I guess I actually do know where we are going next time. So yeah, uh, I will see you guys in that episode. But for now, we will return to our handy dandy save point and uh, say goodbye for now. Thank you all for watching. It's been fun, but I think I'm going to give it a rest for tonight. I've been playing for three hours today. It's all well and good, but uh, three hours is three hours of recording. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'll be seeing you guys in another day. Bye-bye.